Hi, how's it going? Blazing Yay here. In today's video, we're going to go over all the access points, all of the points of interest, how to complete the setups, and how to optimize the casino heist for the big con and the aggressive approach. If you find anything in this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and more. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to go over is the scope out mission and all of the points of interest. When you go to the setup board for the first time, you'll have to do a scope out mission. When you get to the casino, the first thing you need to do is take a photo of the front door. You should also take a photo of the valet while you're here. Then head inside the casino and Lester will ask you to take some photos of some security features. First, take a photo of the guard by the elevator and take a photo of the door with a keycard lock, which is next to the cashier. Take a photo of the camera on the ceiling. There are loads of them, so just look up and take a photo of anyone. And there's one more thing you want to take a photo of inside of the casino. Go to the management's office and take a photo of the blueprint on Agatha's desk. Now that's everything inside the casino. Now we're going to head outside so we can get the rest of them. First, go around the back of the casino and take a photo of the door with a the keypad. Then carry on around the casino to the music locker and take a photo of the door next to it. Now we need to go up onto the roof. There will be two doors, one on either side of the helipad. They will both have keycard locks on them so you can see which ones are the right ones. And then on the roof terrace itself, there are four doors to take photos of. One is behind the bar. The second one is next to the pool. And But while you're here, take a photo of the camera that's just above the door. Then head around the back and there are two doors with keypads. One here and one here. Once you've done that, there are two more which are just slightly away from the casino. One is underneath the racetrack. There is a giant door. You won't miss it. Take a photo of that. And the last one is in the sewers. And when you go into the sewers, the first set of bars you come across, you want to take a photo of them. And that's everything. Now leave the area and head back to the arcade. Now we're going to do the vault scope out mission. One, this is going to give us the rest of our points of interest. Two, this is going to tell us what's inside the vault. In this mission, you need to go and grab a security guard's phone. You have two options here. You can either hack his phone or kill him and take the phone. You will get a wanted level if you kill him. But personally, I like to just head over there, kill him and then head towards the casino. By the time you make it to the casino, you will have normally lost your wanted level or be very close to anyway. Then once the wanted level has been removed, go inside of the casino, open up your phone and activate the Sightseer app. This will bring up a little bar in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You just need to walk around the casino until the bar is filled up. Once it's reached the top, you'll be able to access the security feed. Every single camera feed will have a point of interest in it, except the vault, which has the vault contents in it. Once you've checked out all the camera feeds and you find out what's inside the vault, leave the casino and head back to the arcade. Now let's take a quick look at the setup board. Down the right, you will notice that there are some things you can buy. Do not buy any of them as they are not worth it. Along the bottom, you will see that there are three types of approach. Silent and sneaky, the big con and aggressive. For the fastest method, we are going to focus on the big con and the aggressive approaches. The reason we're looking at both is because whichever one you do first will be locked the second time you go to do it. So you have to pick a different approach when you do your second run. Once you've done your second run, the first run will then go into hard mode and then you can just go back and forth between the big con and the aggressive approach in hard mode, meaning you can get the most money every single time you do it. But don't worry, hard mode isn't really that hard. Nothing really changes, there's just a few more guards. So when you choose the approach, you will then go to the second setup board. Here you will see there are a few setup missions to do. First I'll go over all of the ones that are the same no matter what approach you do. Then I'll go over the unique ones for the big con and the aggressive approach. First you will see that there are three support crew members you need to pick. Each one takes a different cut when you finish the heist. I suggest for the gunman and the driver, you go for the cheapest options. And for the hacker, get the best one that you can. The hacker will increase the amount of time that you can spend in the vault, so it's definitely worth it. Also, there is a secret hacker that is definitely worth getting, but I'll have a separate video coming out soon on how to get them. Weapons missions. There are five types of weapon missions. The only thing that changes depending on the approach is the guns available. For the big con, I suggest choosing the SMG loadout. And for the aggressive, either one is fine, but I prefer the revolver loadout. So let's get into the missions themselves. Gang hideout. You'll have to go to a lost MC clubhouse and take out everyone there. Once you've taken everyone out, you need to take the weapons back to the arcade. Unfortunately, there are two bags you need to collect, so you will need to go back and forth. There are a couple of missions like this, so I suggest when dropping off the packages, get off of the vehicle and walk in the back door is quicker than driving in. Noose vans. There will be multiple vans on the map. All you have to do is blow up the back doors for each of the vans until you find the one with the weapons. When you find the right one, you need to take that van back to the arcade. However, you will have the cops on you, so you need to lose them first. Smugglers. You will be sent to a coast where you will find a Tula. There will be enemies all around, so you need to take them all out, get in the Tula, and then land it over at Sandy Shores Airfield. And then you're done. Getaway vehicle. So for the getaway vehicle, I suggest going for the Sentinel Classic. It is definitely the fastest one out of these options. Then there are four different types of missions you could get. Drag race. So in this one, both cars are having a drag race. As you get close, the race will start, and you need to wait at the start line for them to come back. I suggest taking out both drivers before stealing the car. 
because if you leave one then they will drive away and it will become a chase. If this happens you have to get in front of the driver and snipe him out while he's driving towards you and then you just have to take the vehicles back to the arcade. Imports. The car will be at a location surrounded by smugglers. This one is simple you just need to take everybody out and then you can take the cars back to the arcade. Police compound. You'll be sent to one of the police stations and you will need to go inside the warehouse. Once you're in, you need to locate the vehicles and take them out of the warehouse. However, you will need to move some cars out of the way so you can get them out. You can do this stealthily or you can just kill everyone and take the cars out and then wait for the wanted level to go down. I normally just kill everybody and take the vehicles out. The valet service. So in this one, you need to go and steal a valet outfit from some valets. When you get there, just point your gun at them and don't shoot. If you shoot them, you will get a wanted level. But if you just scare them, you won't and it could save you a few minutes. Then you just need to go and stand in front of the hotel, wait for the cars to arrive and then you can drive them back. Easy peasy. That's all the vehicle missions. But once you have them, there is an option that you can upgrade them. I do not suggest buying the upgrades because with the method that I'm going to show you, you won't need them. Hacking devices. There are two types of missions that you will get for the hacking device. FIB building. For this mission, you will first need to go to a crime scene and steal a security pass from one of them. I suggest just killing everybody here and then walk over the correct body and you will get the prompt to search the body. Be careful though, if you use explosives or rockets, you might send the body flying into a different location, but the mini map will show where it started. Then you need to go to the FIB building and go up the elevator. Once you're up there, you need to get your phone out and use the Sightseer app. Just like in the casino, at the bottom of the screen, you'll have a little bar and it will help you locate the briefcase. Once you have the briefcase and you're on the way out, you will trip the alarms and the guards will try to kill you. Some people suggest taking them out before you trip the alarm, but you can just run through without dying as long as you don't get stuck. Then you just need to lose the wanted level and go back to the arcade. Noose headquarters. You need to go to a location and find the agent holding a keycard. Kill him, take the keycard and head over to the noose headquarters. Once you're in, it's practically the same as the FIB building. You just need to find the briefcase using the Sightseer app. I suggest being stealthy in this one because it's much quicker and it's not very hard to do. Once you have it, as soon as you leave, you will get a wanted level anyway, but you can lose that in no time as you're heading back to the arcade. The vault key cards. There are two types of missions here. The goons. In this one, you will have to take out two people and search their bodies for cards. The first one will be on the street and you just need to take him out and get his card. Don't worry about the cops and head straight over to the next target who will be in a motel. When you take him out and leave the motel, you should have lost the cops and then you can just leave the area and you're done. Prison guard. You will need to steal a prison bus. The easiest way to do this is just to get in front of it and shoot the driver out. It's on a long road so it should be pretty easy. There is also a guard with him so just take him out as well and be careful. Then drive over to the prison and go through the checkpoints. Then drive it around to the correct tower and there will be a guard at the bottom waiting for you. Take him out with a suppressed weapon and it won't alert anybody. Then you can simply drive out and leave the area. Patrol routes. This mission is always the same but it will change its location. You will need to go to a car park and find a specific car. Lester will text you the registration of the car but it's always the same car it's the silver convertible kill all the guards and you will get a wanted level but they won't actually come after you until you do the last step once you've taken out all the guards you need to open the boot and take a photo of the clipboard you might need to zoom in a little bit because sometimes it can be a little buggy as soon as you've taken a photo of the clipboard the cops will come after you so get out of there and lose the cops bug and shipments so this one i find really easy but i know some people do have trouble with it all you need to do is check the map and take out the closest ones I normally go straight down, take out the one at the bottom of the map, check the map, find the closest one and then sort of zigzag between them. And I always have a couple of minutes left over by the time I finish this. If you do find it hard, it might be easier to leave this one till last and then get a friend to help you complete it. Security pass. Always source level two security pass. When you hover over it, it will always be on number one. Move across one and it will go to level two pass. And there are two types of missions. The party. You need to go to a party and wait for Lester to tell you who the target is. Have a little dance and try not to look too too suspicious. When he texts you, check your phone and look for the person matching the photo. When you find them, you need to search them, but then you'll find out that they don't have the card and then you need to find the card around the party. But just have a little look around and you will find it on the ground somewhere. And then just leave the area and you're done.
And that's all of the missions that are the same for either approach. Now I'll go into the unique missions for the big con, the disguise. Always get the group sex gear, you will see why soon. There are two stages. First you will need to go and steal a van and take it back to the arcade. And remember, if you need to lose the cops, use the sewers or the train tunnel. For the second part, you will need to go to an area where there are loads of vans located and inside the back of them, there will be disguises. You can try and do this one stealthy, but it's actually quite easy to just kill everybody and then you have no problems. You will need to take a photo of the license plate and then you can pick up the disguises on the back. Then you just need to go back and forth until you have both of them at the arcade. The vault drills. There are two types of missions for the vault drills. Fleece bank. In this one you will need to collect drills from a group that are robbing a bank. You will get a wanted level and the bank crew will also be after you. But if you're quick enough you can make it back to the arcade without dying. Safe house. Police will be trying to seize the drill off of a gang. All you need to do is take everybody out and grab the drills and take them back. Like before you will need to lose the wanted level before you can drop them off. And that's all you're going to need in setup missions for the big con. So let's have a look at the unique missions for the aggressive approach. Thermal charges. There are two types of missions for the thermal charges. Redneck party. All you have to do for this one is go to a party, kill everybody there and take the thermal charges back to the arcade. Simples. Warehouse. This one is very similar to the last mission except you need to go to a warehouse and then you just need to kill everybody that's there and take the thermal charges back. Bolt explosives. So this mission will send you to a location where there is a plane that has crashed underwater. There will be enemies all over the docks and in boats around the area. Kill all of the enemies and then go back to the docks. There will be a scuba suit. Put that on and then you can go to the search area without running out of breath Then you just need to look around the plane crash and find the thermal charges once found you just need to take them back to the arcade and you are done there tunnel boring machine there are two types of missions for this construction site in this one you will need to go to a construction site take out the people that are there steal the vehicle and take it back to the sewers moving vehicle in this one the machine will be just driving around casually all you need to do is get in front of it shoot out the driver just like the prison bus and then you need to take it to the sewer not the arcade so that's all the setups you need to know about Anything that I didn't mention is not worth doing. So now we're going to take a look at the finale board. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go through both approaches. Then I'll show you the fastest way to exit. The exit route will be the same no matter what the approach. But obviously getting into the vault does slightly change between different approaches. Big con approach. So with the big con approach, this is how the setup board should look. The entry point should be the security tunnel. The exit should be the staff lobby. The buyer should be high level. The entry disguise should be the group sex. And do not buy the extra stuff. You don't need it. When it comes to split in the cut i always split it evenly even though you may have paid to do the setup you can't do the finale without them so just pay them when you start the heist you will need to drive the van under the track however while i was doing this a random player this guy showed me a little shortcut if you drive the van down here you will activate the cut scene and you won't have to drive around the casino car park you may only shave off a few seconds but anything that's quicker is better once you're in you just need to drive down the tunnel wait at the checkpoint for a split second and then park the van up after that you need to just go in the elevator go straight up and you can just walk straight through over to the vault. When you get to the door with the key cards, if you're doing this with randoms, just watch the other player and as soon as you see them start to swipe, then swipe your card and you should be able to time it perfectly. Then head down to the vault doors and you will get a shortcut scene and then you're in. So at this point, the best thing to do is to hack any of the gates that have the stuff behind it first and start from the outside and work in. The closer you are to the vault doors at the end, the better. However, you can start to leave with around five seconds left because the gas comes in quite slowly and doesn't kill you instantly. You should make out fine. And now you're out of the vault. So now I'm going to stop here and we're going to look at the aggressive approach. Like I said, the exit will be the same no matter what approach you do. So the finale board for the aggressive approach should look like this. The entrance should be the sewers. The exit should be the staff lobby. The buyers should be high level. And like I said before, you don't need the other stuff. So let's just get right into it. When you start the heist, you will need to take the car down to the sewers. If you drive off the corner here, you will get there very quickly. When you go through the sewer access, you will need to place a bomb on the wall at the end and then you're inside the room just outside the vault. But everybody will be alerted to you. So take your time and pick off the guards and make your way over to the double key carded door. When you're through and you reach the vault, you need to plant the charges on the vault door. It's a phone bomb, so you need to bring up your phone and you will have a new contact in your contacts list. Call that number and then it will blow up. There are two things that are different to the big con approach when you reach inside of the vault. First, the time that you have inside of the vault will be decreased because everybody knows that you're inside of the vault. Secondly, instead of having to hack the doors inside of the vault, you can use thermal charges and blow them up. To optimize your time, I suggest planting a thermal charge and then looting the trolley closest to you and then looting the other one afterwards. And then once you've looted as much as you can, get out of there, get back to the double doors 
and now from here both the approaches will end up the same. So once you're on your way out and you're heading down the tunnel, behind the doors at the end there will be loads of enemies. So take your time and don't rush out of there because every time you take damage you will lose money. Once you've cleared the room head down to the stairs. Do not go in the elevator because there will be enemies waiting for you as soon as you open those doors and they will mess you up badly. There will be enemies on the stairs however if you're quick enough you can get to them before they get to you. And when you get to the top don't just rush out of the door. You shoot the door open and wait for a split second. The enemies will try to come to you through the door so you can pick them off one by one once you've done as many as you can there you want to head out go into the control room take out the people through the windows of the control room and there's a button on the desk you press and hold the button the door to the mini vault will open but it will start to shut very quickly so if it's just you planning to grab it you want to press the button for as long as you can till it's fully open get inside of the vault don't worry if the door closes behind you start looting the cash that's in the trolley and then there'll be a button next to the door so you can open it back up. Hopefully by that time the rest of your team have killed all the enemies that are outside and then you can just run straight through the metal detectors and out to the door. Now that you're out of the casino, run straight ahead of you, jump over the fence so that you're on the racetrack. Just in front of you there will be two guys behind a rock, take them out so they're not shooting you in the back while you're running across the racetrack, then run around to the right of you and then you will see that there is a truck at the end. There'll be two guys standing behind the truck, one behind and one just to the side. Take them both out, then head down the slope. As you're going down the slope, two more guards will come out. Be ready to kill them straight away. Once you've taken them out, go through this little bit here and jump over the fence. Once you jump over the fence, there will be three locations that the cars can be in. Whatever location they are in, you can make it to either one of them if you just run straight. Do not stop. Just keep running. Then, once you've got into the car, what you want to do is turn around and go straight towards the sewer access. Head down through the sewers, drive all the way down to the end. If you haven't lost the cops by the time you make it to the very end, when you get to this little tunnel bit, stop here. If you go any further past that, the cops will start to come in the entrance. So just wait there until the wanted level has been removed. Once it's gone, you can get yourself out of the sewers and then just drive straight to the bio with no issues. Some people like to grab a helicopter instead of the cars, but I think it's a bit risky the route that you have to go. So I think this is the safer option. Also, you can do all of the setups in an invite only lobby, but you might struggle to find people when you start the finale. So at that point, you need to switch back over to the public lobby. And the optimal way to do all of these missions is with a sparrow, buzzard, or an oppressor. So I think the casino heist is actually really fun. There are loads of different ways that you can do this, so you can experiment. The only downside for me is that I wish there was some way of doing this solo, just because sometimes it can be very hard to complete with randoms and there is a special high roller approach which requires collecting all of the playing cards around the map maybe i'll do a video on this one soon if that's something you're interested in leave a comment down below saying high roller but if you enjoyed the video and found anything that helped you hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot and helps the channel out massively thank you for watching and bye for now